Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reedy with Future Pastimes, and I'm the designer of The Adventures of Conan. And in this video, I wanted to take a look at one of the playable characters from the base game, and that is an ally, and it is Janissa. So Janissa is a character uh, from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, she's a, almost a very definition of a fair-weather friend. She has fought with Conan on a, multiple occasions, but has also, also been a very useful ally uh, in clutch situations. So we're going to take a look at the special abilities for Janissa. Each character has two different abilities, one on each side. Uh, it also lets you know what core dice. So she's going to be using the uh, dark green with the white symbols as their as a core dice there. And of course, the white dice with the green symbols as the general supply, which is true for all allies. Uh, we're going to start with the dark green side of Janissa. So uh, this ability is you may buy one foe die for one gold in the resource phase if any are available in addition to your ally dice. Now, in the beginning of the resource phase, each player will be able to buy dice, but the cost is different depending on the character. So Conan's dice cost three gold each. Ally dice cost two gold each. And for the foe, the dice are it's one gold for the first one, two for the second, and three thereafter. Uh, so Janissa has the ability to buy ally dice for two, but she can pick up one foe die for one gold. And so that will come in handy because it's uh, a cheap die. And uh, that means that on the very first round of the game, everyone starts with one gold. And usually a foe, the foes are the only one who can afford to buy an extra die on that first round. But Janissa can get one as well. And it's a foe die. So uh, very useful gives uh, more things to do. When you roll a character symbol and it is the foe character, she treats it as an ally character symbol. So she can do a deploy action in the main phase. She can use those to advance on the plot with other uh, character results from her other dice. Um, so that's the dark side, the dark green. We're going to go to the light green. It's a different ability. So let's take a look at this one. It says... You may use a scry fate token, um, not use, but give. You may give a scry fate token to a foe if Conan does not attempt an adventure to prevent the foe from advancing on the plot track. So each round at the end of the main phase, if the, if Conan, and uh, with, with or without the help of the ally, doesn't get to a kingdom that has an adventure, then all of the foes are going to move up on the plot track. They won't get any of the rewards, but they do get victory points, and they are farther along that plot track, which can be a big deal. Uh, but Janissa can give uh, any of foe, and she could do this with both foes, a scribe fate token to prevent that. And then what happens is she will score three victory points and then flip this card. And when you flip the card, you go to the other ability. So you may decide to start with this one. And it's a little bit of an insurance policy. But the other thing that you can do is Janissa, if you've got a Scry Fate token, is maybe you don't help Conan get to an adventure kingdom. Uh, and in fact, you actively try to prevent it from happening. Now, there's pros and cons to that. Uh, the big con, of course, is that Doing an adventure is a good way for any player to get victory points, especially if Conan has to use the dice of that player. So you score victory points for each one of your dice that is applied to that adventure. Now, Conan is typically the one who has the agency over dice that get applied. So if Conan has a lot of dice and maybe a lot of fate tokens, and is like, yeah, I'm going to get all of the victory points for that adventure then you as an ally don't really have a lot of incentive to help Conan get there. And you can use your actions in that main phase to actively prevent Conan from doing so. Uh, use your move actions to move Conan away from an adventure, uh, as well as throw challenge tokens in Conan's path so that maybe that player uh, is discouraged or has to deal with a bad challenge token, like a fight that could wound Conan. So... Um, if you're not able to unlock a lot of encounters, um, which is usually the best way to reduce the number of dice that the Conan player has at their disposal, um, then this is a good backup plan for Janissa. So it's a really interesting and unusual effect. None of the other characters have anything like this. Plus, you benefit from stopping one or both allies, if it's a four-player game, uh, from getting any benefit for Conan not doing an adventure. So... 
getting those scry fate tokens if you got this ability face up is a big deal uh which means you're going to want to look at moving conan to kingdoms with the scry attribute so that if you do get a local fate token that's what you're going to get um or if you're in a kingdom that has uh the scry result is one of the results on that kingdom die. Spend a gold to roll the kingdom die and see if you can get a scry token uh, that way. Um, there are other ways you can get it. Um, in some cases, you're able to get any fate token. So uh, it gives you one more to choose from. A lot of times when I'm getting any fate token, I'm going after the ones that match the three ach achievements from the achievement track. Uh, because those are a good way to move up on that track. But sometimes Conan is in a kingdom that doesn't have any of those attributes, so um, getting those scries. So it's an interesting, uh, unusual effect. Um, it gives you, a, at the beginning of the game, you're going to decide which one you want to try out. And the other benefit of this one, of course, is that when you use it, it does flip over. Now, there are some ways that you can flip your character, the easiest being go to Zamora and use the unique kingdom effect there. That lets you flip the card. Um, but there are there's sometimes, not always, but there are sometimes other ways to do that. So that is how Janissa works. Let me know if you have any questions about Janissa, either one of her unique abilities or anything having to do with the Adventures of Conan. I'll be happy to answer those in the comments. That's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.